we are the Cohort 8. We are from Centerstone of Tennessee in Clarksville, Tennessee. My name is Mandy Ryan and I'm the project director. My name is Valerie Klein and I am the team leader, the integrative care manager and wellness coordinator. My name is Donald Williams and I'm the peer wellness coach. My name is Joanna Lewis and I'm a wellness coach. And I am April Thomas and I'm one of the wellness coordinators. Here at Centerstone, we've come up with some keys to maintaining a 100% reassessment rate. Those are a referral log, a last seen report, a reassessment report, and regularly scheduled weekly team meetings. First, I have an example of our referral log. The referral log is an Excel spreadsheet that allows us to keep track of who's enrolled, referred, and discharged. It also allows us to input if the clients want to be seen monthly or if they prefer for us to only follow up every few months for care coordination. Next, we have a sample of our last seen report. It is updated weekly by our research team. This report is very helpful in allowing us to consistently maintain contact with all of our clients. The information on this report is generated from activity codes used in our EHR. We review it at weekly team meetings to ensure that all clients are being seen at least every 50 days. When a client gets over 50 days, we increase our attempts to reach out by contacting the client's other providers and mailing out letters. If we reach 90 days with no contact, we're alerted by a red highlight and are then able to discharge the client. The final report is a reassessment report. This is emailed to us weekly from our research team. It is generated from the data entered into SPARS. The report lets us know when a client's reassessment window is open, so we can go ahead and get the reassessment appointment scheduled. If we're already scheduled to see the client, it's as simple as adding the vitals and labs, if necessary, to the existing upcoming appointment. Okay guys, let's go ahead and go over our reassessment data. Um, let's see, it looks like April, um, John Smith is open. Where are we at on him? Okay, so I just found out he moved out of the state, so we're going to be discharging him okay, as soon great. as possible. We'll get that discharge submitted. Okay. All right, what about Linda King? She's open too. <clears throat> okay, so we just completed her noms and vitals last week, so I've got her health screen scheduled on Friday. Okay, great. All right, um, looks like Jane Doe is coming in. Um, that's yours, Joanna. Um, she's got therapy next week, so I'm going to see her after that. Okay, great. All right, Donald, you've got a couple coming up also. It looks like Tyrone Jackson will, will be open. Yeah, I'm not even getting in touch with Tyrone. I've left voicemails. He's never called back. He hasn't kept any appointments, and I don't know what to do with him. Okay. Is he at his 90 days? And I've sent a letter. Okay, um, you sent a letter. And has it been 10 days since the letter? Yes. 90 days that he's not been seen? All right, we'll go ahead and discharge him, so we'll get that taken care of today. 